My name's Amy and I'm a fitness model from here in Miami, Florida. Today we're going to do a butt workout that's going to make sure you get around your glutes. It's going to really engage your glutes and make sure you have the perfect peach shape. So we're going to start our workout with the straight leg bouncing. We're going to do two sets of 20 repetitions in each leg. So we're first going to get on our knees and then bend down and get on our elbows. Just like that. So make sure to keep your back straight because it's very important to always have good posture when you're working out. The next thing we do is we kick up and then we bounce for 20 reps. Make sure to always point your toe down so you can feel the burn. And another good way to feel the burn on the side of your glute is by pointing your toe down into the side. There we go. Make sure to feel your glute squeezing, because that means it's working. Okay, good job. We're almost done. And now we're gonna move on to the next leg. Okay, now we're gonna do the next leg, same thing, 20 reps, let's go. We're gonna get down. Keep up, make sure to bounce. Four. Four. Okay. Make sure that each rep you really feel your glute squeeze, because that means that it's working, that the muscles Getting tired. We're almost done. Five more. Three, four, five. Now, we're going to do two sets. So we're going to do it one more time, and then we're going to move on to the next workout, okay? Okay, back to the first leg for the second set. Let's go. Always count. Point toe down, remember. Back straight, and one, two, is at 10, keep my bow down, at the next 10, point my toe to the side, so if you do it on the side, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing for the next leg, first 10, point toe down, and then next 10, point to the side, to the side, that's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five more, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go guys, so that was the first workout. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do are going to be called the donkey kickbacks. So what we're basically going to do is the same thing, we're going to get on all fours once again, Back straight, always remember. Now, we're just gonna kick back all the way up. Remember to keep your toes pointed down as it activates the glutes more than the thighs, and then bring it back down, back to your, where your other knee is. See, right there. And then kick up again. We're gonna do this for 20 repetitions, okay? So, let's go. So to focus more on the glutes, let's not kick back too high. Let's make it a little bit even, so we're going to keep our kick at a 90 degree angle. Another way that I like to point my toe down when I think about it is, is as if my heel is holding the plate. So just always mental, like, mentally think about that when wanting to keep your toe down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Five more guys, ready? Five, four, three, two, perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the next leg. Bend down, lift up your foot, kick back, bend toe down, bring it back to me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, five, four, three, two, one, five more, five. Awesome guys, now we're going to take a 30 second break to get into the next same workout. One more time. If you guys have water or Gatorade, right now during your break is the best time to drink it. And we're doing great because we're already in the second workout out of three. We're getting through it quickly. Whoops. Alright, ready guys? One more time. On your knees. On your elbows, back straight, lift up, point down, kick back, ready? Okay. If you have a mirror in front of you, it's really good to see how this exercise works by having group contracts. Easy guys, this is our last one. Oh, so I want this one. Okay. One more. I hope you guys are really feeling the burn because I am, which is a great thing because that means it's working. Next leg, last leg. Ready guys, and go. Easy. It's just time. Two sets of five, ready? Three, two, one. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, guys. I'm going to take a little break and then we're going to get on to our next workout. So, make a little water if you can, if you're thirsty. Hopefully you feel a lot of activation in your glutes by now, which is really good. If not, definitely the third workout will make you feel that new activation. Okay. So our third workout is going to be called the side kickback knee to elbow. So this one's a little bit harder, so we're going to do it for 15 repetitions, the same two sets. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to put our elbow first here. And then I like to keep this one straight. So when I go like this, I'm going to kick back. And then bring in my knee to my elbow. That's why it's called the knee to elbow kick back. So we're going to, let's do it one more time. Kick back. And then we're going to bring the knee right here to the elbow. That's why I like to keep my elbow straight for this one. So one. Oh, and remember to keep your pole, your toe pointed down. That's how you get your toe pointed down and then bring it into the elbow. So we're going to do 15 for each leg. Two, kick back. Three, kick back. Four, kick back. Five. So this one really works out the side of your glute, as you can tell. And bring it in, bring it in a little bit more thigh. Five. 
Five more guys, we got this. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Fifteen. All right, we're gonna do the next leg now. So, since you're gonna see the back of you, you're gonna see how the glue is really working with this exercise, okay? Up right here. Knee right here. Kick back. Bring in. Top points it down. Kick back. Bring in. Easy. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Ooh. Okay. We're going to do one more set of that and we're going to be done with a three set work. Three more minutes. So, water big for me because I'm really feeling the burn, which is great. That pumps me up because that means my glutes are going to grow. So it always gets me excited when I work out. When it burns, that means my glutes are going to grow. That means it's working. And that's the pump about working out. Pardon me. Okay. Are you guys ready? One more time. See that? Position. One knee up. Other one we're going to kick back. One elbow down. One elbow straight. Kick back. Bring in. So I'm going to down. Four. Three. Two. So what I like to do usually, when it comes to 15 repetitions, I divide, I count by fives to make it seem like it goes faster. So I do three, the count three sets of five. Four. Five. No. Ready? Five more. One, awesome, we just finished this leg. Next leg and then we'll be done, ready? Kick back, pull the toe down, bring it. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more guys. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Great job, guys. That was super fun. I hope you're feeling the burn right by now. So now that we have our glutes activated, we're going to end this workout by doing 50 squats. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand straight, we're going to keep our feet shoulder width apart, and then keep, keep, our feet are going to keep pointing straight, okay, keep our back straight as we go down. We're going to drop our butt and make sure our knees stay in place. We're going to drop, don't let your knees pass your toes, then we go up, okay, we're going to do this 50 times. So make sure you keep the right posture to engage your glutes. When you come up, make sure to squeeze your glutes. And to engage your glutes even better, you keep your weight on your heel. It's very important to focus on posture so you're working out the right muscle when it comes to these workouts. You don't have to drop so low. 
as long as you're keeping the right posture. If you have the right posture, you're doing everything right, you can drop as long as you can. But if not, it's just important to engage the muscle right now. Squeeze. In, and come up slightly, and then bring it down again. Squeeze. Bring it down. Back straight always. Sometimes my foot wanders off to the side. Make sure to keep it straight. Once you do this slow and controlled, you'll feel the burn a lot more. Versus when you do it fast pace. Just like that. I bring in my arms to try to keep in balance because since the weight's on the back of your heel, you might pivot back. You bring yourself back in just like that. Okay? We're going to do 20 more. Two. Three. Four. So I like this workout a lot because it engages glutes as well as quads, as you can see here from the side. So you're not only squeezing your glutes, but you're bringing your quads. And it works out your core since you're keeping the back straight more. See? We're going to do 10 more guys. Make sure your butt is only the drops that you need. See? And if you do one wrong without posture, you're going to do it again, okay? So you see right here? My knees just past my toes, so I'm going to redo that wrap. Like okay? Five more guys, ready? Bring in five. Bring in four. Bring in three. Ready? Bring in two. One. And just one more just for fun. Yay! Good job, guys. That was fun. Great way to activate the glutes, quads, and a little bit of hamstrings. So hopefully you enjoyed this workout so we can get ready for the next. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did, and you're as tired as much as I am. <laughs> and if you like this workout, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome workouts. And for the number one workout plan, make sure to check out 30daybutttransformation.com.